Hey y'all, so I have a um, Easter spring uh, little folio pro swap project to share with you. Um, and I had so much fun making this. Um, this is for a swap I'm in and the, actually all the Easter spring projects you're going to see um, uh, within this week is all going to be for the same swap. I'm just breaking it up in videos because some things are different. So there were certain requirements for the swap we had to do, um, but it was like a pick and choose kind of thing. Um, and it was a, uh, your, like it's a, it was a crafter's choice theme. So I picked spring and Easter. I used the Lori Whitlock um, paper pad for a lot of this, as well as another one of the spring pads from Tuesday morning I picked up. Um, I used a lot of the stickers from the paper collection, a lot of, a lot of the cut aparts from the paper, um, lots of layering. I stitched, did gold stitching on almost everything and it was lots of fun. So the first thing I did was this little folio. I made like a little folio and this was inspired by Ada. Hi Ada. Um, and um, I just love this. So um, as you can see, I did the gold stitching on everything. You can see here, gold stitching on everything and it just has a tie closure and I used this satin bunny ribbon from Dollar Tree. Um, the cover, I made a little shaker on it. Um, it's kind of like stuck right now because um, I have these flowers in here. But I layered the flowers, I layered this green paper to make grass, and I have the rabbit with the tree and it says eggs. I put some butterflies in there, and then that's another sticker. And then both these trims are from Hobby Lobby. So I have them on the bottom and the top, and then I have this is a sticker border from the paper. And then these Easter eggs are from Target, and then these are Dollar Tree butterfly stickers. I'm trying to see if I can get the try to get the um, it's probably because this is full right now so the they're not gonna kind of there we go kind of move it there we go he's holding an Easter egg um, but yeah the back I just kind of left the stitching um, so let's flip it open so um, for my I had a uh, for this project, you could have picked a tag flipped or a loaded project. I picked a loaded project. I could not fit all the required things for the loaded project in the loaded pad or the loaded pocket. because um, So you had to make two tags. So the two tags are here. Um, and then, um, then I sent some gifts. And then... Um, then you had to pick two things from another thing and then two things and then one thing from another thing. So I did um, three handmade cards, uh, ten pack of die cuts, which I did more obviously, uh, three hand, a set of three handmade embellishments or two handmade embellishments or three, I did three, and then three shakers. So, or two, sh either two or three shakers, but I did three. So we'll go through that and I just have everything attached here. So right here, these are the Easter tags I created and these are just on here with some tape, um, you know, with some washi tape. Again, I used the collection and this tag base is from Tuesday morning and I have tons of layers on here. I did do a live on this. Um, I didn't save it though. And I have the ribbon, stickers from the collection, got bows. I have these acetate leaves from Tuesday morning. I have gold thread. I have the cut out grass and the flowers and the bunny rabbit and the Easter egg and the butterfly wing and this butterfly. Just super pretty and some bling obviously. So that one goes on there like that. Actually I gotta move it over just a little. And then I did this little one which is the base of this was this polka dot uh, gold and white polka dot tag also from Tuesday morning and here's the back just on there with washi tape and just layered some papers um, this is from Target got up some bunny ribbon butterfly bling 
layered some like handmade grass and then I got different stickers from the collection and then from Target um, and the flowers again. So super cute, really simple, fun. And then my die cut pack, I made like this little flip folio um, that she can open. And then the top, I put a doily with a chick. So I have some of the chipboard stickers from Target. I have two of these foam polka dot bunny stickers with the little bunny tails. I have one of each of the colors that it came in, these little gold bunny die cuts. And then there's also the holographic ones. There's like holographic ones, but they're in like a different position. And then this one has one of the big foam glittery bunnies from Dollar Tree. Two of these little hugging bunnies. Um, some other Easter ephemera from another paper collection. And then these little cut out little Easter bunnies. And then here I made a couple sets. I made four of each of these medallions. Now they did vary a little bit. So I made four chick ones, four bunny ones, and four little sheep ones. Um, and they're just like the little paper, you know, like the award ribbon embellishments. And I layered them with flowers and thread and pearls and stickers and different accents. This one. So these came out and were so much fun to do. They did take forever. But I had so much fun with those. So that is those. And then I have my shakers here. So this clip, whoops. This little clip here holds on this one, which is one of the 4 by 6 um, element cards. So with this shaker, shaker, shaker mix, some stickers from the collection, and then I have a little hardy swap bow. So, super cute. And then this one, I just layered together. This is a piece from the collection. I layered it on glitter and some cardstock. And then I put the flowers on the Easter bunny, on the Easter egg. And there's some vellum, polka dot vellum, and then this Easter bunny trim, and the word wonderful, and then um, there's some bling, and then the rest is just the sequins. And then this one is a bunny rabbit, and then I just did the paper flags and the um, carrot and the heart and the bling, and I think one of the bling, yeah, it fell off, hold on. I think. Tigger, how did you get down here? My cat got stuck down here with me. Oh no, now it doesn't want to stick. Or it's sticking to the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, there we go, I fixed it. So, I like how, I love how this little folio came out. I think it's so stinking cute. I have some nice close-up um, pictures of everything on my Instagram. So if you want to see like better quality, um, that's where it will be. Um, so yeah, there's the little folio let me know what you guys think um this was super fun i think it's a great little way to package up things um i thought it was a great way to package up my little swap elements so yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to y'all soon bye guys